What is Biomedical Waste Management Authorization? Biomedical Waste Management and Handling Rules 1998 were notified by the Ministry of Environment and Forests MOEF, under the Environment Protection Act 1986. In exercise of the powers conferred by Section 6, 8 and 25 of the Environment Protection Act 1986, 29 of 1986, and in supersession of the Biomedical Waste Management and Handling Rules 1998 and further amendments made thereof, the Central Government YDGSR 343E dated 28 of March 2016 published the Biomedical Waste Management Rules 2016. These rules apply to all persons who generate, collect, receive, store, transport, treat, dispose, or handle biomedical waste in any form including hospitals, nursing homes, clinics, dispensaries, veterinary institutions, animal houses, pathological laboratories, blood banks, Ayush hospitals, clinical establishments, research or educational institutions, health camps, medical or surgical camps, vaccination camps, blood donation camps, first aid rooms of schools, forensic laboratories and research labs. These rules stipulate duties of the occupier or operator of a common biomedical waste treatment facility as well as the identified authorities. According to these rules, every occupier or operator handling biomedical waste, irrespective of the quantity is required to obtain authorization from the respective prescribed authority state pollution control board and pollution control committee, as the case may be. Standards for treatment of biomedical waste Biomedical waste disposal Standards for incineration All incinerators shall meet the following operating and emission standards. Combustion efficiency CE, shall be at least 99.00%. The combustion efficiency is computed as follows. The temperature of the primary chamber shall be a minimum of 800 C and the secondary chamber shall be minimum of 10,500 C plus or 500 C. The secondary chamber gas residence time shall be at least 2 seconds. Emission standards. Particulate matter, 50. Nitrogen oxides NO and NO2 expressed as NO2 to 400. HCl, 50. Total dioxins and furans, 0.1 ng, TEQ, NM3, at 11% O2. HG and its compounds, 0.05. Stack height. Minimum stack height shall be 30 meters above the ground and shall be attached with the necessary monitoring facilities as per requirement of monitoring of general parameters as notified under the Environment Protection Act 1986 and in accordance with the Central Pollution Control Board Guidelines of Emission Regulation Part 3 Operating and Emission Standards for Disposal by Plasma Pyrolysis or Gasification all the operators of the plasma pyrolysis or gasification shall meet the following operating and emission. Combustion efficiency, CE, shall be at least 99.99%. The temperature of the combustion chamber after plasma gasification shall be 1050 plus minus 50 OC with gas residence time of at least 2 seconds, with minimum 3% oxygen in the stack gas the stack height should be minimum of 30 meters above ground level and shall be attached with the necessary monitoring facilities as per requirement of monitoring of general parameters as notified under the Environment Protection Act 1986 and in accordance with the CPCB. Standards for autoclaving of biomedical waste The autoclave should be dedicated for the purposes of disinfecting and treating biomedical waste. When operating a gravity flow autoclave, medical waste shall be subjected to a temperature of not less than 121 degrees Celsius and pressure of 15 pounds per inch 2 psi for an autoclave residence time of not less than 60 minutes or a temperature of not less than 135 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 31 psi for an autoclave residence time of not less than 45 minutes or a temperature of not less than 149 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 52 psi for an autoclave residence time of not less than 30 minutes. 
when operating a vacuum motor clave, medical waste shall be subjected to a minimum of three pre-vacuum pulse to purge the autoclave of all air. A temperature of not less than 121 degrees Celsius and pressure of 15 psi for an autoclave residence time of not less than 45 minutes or a temperature of not less than 135 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 31 psi for an autoclave residence time of not less than 30 minutes. Medical waste shall not be considered as properly treated unless the time, temperature and pressure indicators indicate that the required time, temperature and pressure were reached during the autoclave process. Recording of operational parameters Each autoclave shall have graphic or computer recording devices which will automatically and continuously monitor and record dates, time of day, load identification number and operating parameters throughout the entire length of the autoclave cycle. Validation test for autoclave The validation test shall use four biological indicator strips, one shall be used as a control and left at room temperature, and three shall be placed in the approximate center of three containers with the waste. Personal protective equipment, gloves, face mask and coveralls, shall be used when opening containers for the purpose of placing the biological indicators. At least one of the containers with a biological indicator should be placed in the most difficult location for steam to penetrate, generally the bottom center of the waste pile. Routine test a chemical indicator strip or tape that changes color when a certain temperature is reached can be used to verify that a specific temperature has been achieved. It may be necessary to use more than one strip over the waste package at different locations to ensure that the inner content of the package has been adequately autoclaved. Spore testing the autoclave should completely and consistently kill the approved biological indicator at the maximum design capacity of each autoclave unit. Standards of microwaving Microwave treatment shall not be used for cytotoxic, hazardous or radioactive wastes, contaminated animal carcasses, body parts and large metal items. The microwave system shall comply with the efficacy test or routine tests and a performance guarantee may be provided by the supplier before operation of the limit. The microwave should completely and consistently kill the bacteria and other pathogenic organisms that are ensured by approved biological indicator at the maximum design capacity of each microwave unit. Biological indicators for microwave shall be bacillus atrophaeus pores using vials or spore strips with at least 1 by 100 folds per s per detachable strip. Standards for deep burial. A pit or trench should be dug about 2 meters deep. It should be half filled with waste, then covered with lime within 50 centimeters of the surface, before filling there. It must be ensured that animals do not have any access to burial sites. Covers of galvanized iron or wire meshes may be used. On each occasion, when wastes are added to the pit, a layer of 10 cm of soil shall be added to cover the wastes. Burial must be performed under close and dedicated supervision. The deep burial site should be relatively impermeable and no shallow well should be close to the site. The pits should be distant from habitation, and located so as to ensure that no contamination occurs to surface water or groundwater. The area should not be prone to flooding or erosion. The location of the deep burial site shall be authorized by the prescribed authority. The institution shall maintain a record of all pits used for deep burial. The groundwater table level should be a minimum of 6 meters below the lower level of deep burial pit. Standards for efficacy of chemical disinfection. Microbial inactivation efficacy is equated to log 10 kil which is defined as the difference between the logarithms of number of test microorganisms before and after chemical treatment. Chemical disinfection methods shall demonstrate a full log 10 reduction or greater for Bacillus subtilis, ATCC 19659, in chemical treatment systems. Standards for dry heat sterilization Waste shops can be treated by dry heat sterilization at a temperature not less than 1850 C, at least for a residence period of 150 minutes in each cycle, which sterilization period of 90 minutes. There should be automatic recording system to monitor operating parameters. Waste shops sterilization unit should completely and consistently kill the biological indicator geo bacillus sterothermophilus or bacillus atrophy ouspores using vials with at least log 10 6 spores per milliliter.
the test shall be carried out once in three months. A chemical indicator strip or tape that changes color when a certain temperature is reached can be used to verify that a specific temperature has been achieved. It may be necessary to use more than one strip over the waste to ensure that the inner content of the shops has been adequately disinfected. This test shall be performed once in week and records in this regard shall be maintained. Standards for liquid waste The effluent generated or treated from the premises of occupier or operator of a common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. Sludge from effluent treatment plant shall be given to common biomedical waste treatment facility for incineration or to hazardous waste treatment, storage and disposal facility for disposal. Documents required for biomedical waste authorization certification. For proprietary partnership concern. Proprietor R, R card plus PAN card. Rent lease proof of ownership of site. MCD license. Electricity bill. Waste collection agreement. For private limited public limited company. All the above. Certificate of incorporation, CIN. MOA. Company PAN card. Board declaration for authorized signatory. It's three easy steps process. Step 1. Connect with Team Corp C to discuss specific requirements for your business. Most of our customers take 20 to 25 minutes to discuss their business needs and get instant solutions. Step 2. Once you discuss the requirement, we will align a dedicated account manager to assist you with the entire process. Step 3. Once the job is completed, you will receive documents directly to your email ID and at your doorstep along with 30 days payback guarantee. Reach us at our mobile number 844-444-985. You can email us at hello at corpsey.com and visit our website www.corpseed.com. Corpseed, your business growth partner.